Welcome back to my bathroom. This is episode 14 of Is It <laughs> Today it's a giant Timu haul. We're gonna unbox all these treasures, test them out, and rate them one through 10. There's a lot of junk in here, so grab a seat, grab a drink, get comfy. Ladies, I'm back in with the tea. Today we have Yogi Stomachies. Cheers. Oh yeah, and don't forget, do your tithing. Subscribe, click the buttons, click the bells, so I can continue to make whatever these videos are in my bathroom. First up, for $2.15, this can be yours. This is a, oh, this is a claw clip with hair. It's already shedding. This looks like the doctor's wig. <laughs> you clip up your real hair, which not to brag, I don't really have any. And then you just clip this in, so it's secure. Can you tell? Uh, I'm gonna give this a two, two out of 10. This is a crab pencil holder. I think it's a pencil holder. On the reviews, it says it makes a fantastic hand-rolled devil's lettuce thing you would inhale holder. I'm gonna use it to hold my knockoff spatty daddy, but I love that for y'all out there having fun. This was $1.75, I'd give this a 10. This is just cool, and it's my zodiac sign. I'm a cancer, I'm a crab, I'm crazy, and I cry a lot. That does mean my birthday's coming up though. Close your eyes. This item was only $1.19 and has over 9,000 five-star reviews. Okay, open. These are ramen noodle earrings, dangly. Look at the detail on this. One side is smooth, one side is noodly. What do you think? These are not too heavy like those shrimp earrings that we tried last week. I'm gonna give these a nine. These are great. They make me feel expensive. This is a detangler brush. Assembly is required on this. You have to snap these things and it's not really that easy. Why? There we go. So it looks like a rake and then you can adjust this and make it fan out. Okay. This is for coarse and curly hair. So it's not for me because I don't even have any hair. Oh, I like the way that bends though. Bends and flexes. Kind of has a curve to it. Do you see that? Little whoop. This was $1.07. I'm going to put this in my pool bag. I put coconut oil in my hair before I get in the pool. My hair is fragile. I'm going to give this an eight. This is better than the brushes you're going to get at Dollar Tree and bend and flex ladies. It's customizable. For $2.99, you get 50 of these. I've never seen these before, but these are hair comb nets. See that? You put your hairbrush in the net, put the teeth through it so it sits on the bottom, possibly in a neater way than this, but when you brush your hair and all the hair gets in it like this one, instead of having to pick all this out, you can just whoop and throw this away. But we should probably cut this because what if a sea turtle gets its neck stuck in it or a small bird? This is nice. I wish it was just a sheet. I wish it, I wish it was just a sheet. S's are hard instead of a round. I'm gonna give a seven. I don't even have a chicken, chickens, but I thought I should grab this in case I find myself in a conversation with someone who does have a chicken. I can say, oh wow, I have a chicken helmet you can have. It does have a nice clip for your chicken. Careful on the gobbler. <laughs> don't wanna clip that like a bicycle helmet. They had a bunch of different prints. This is Guy Ferrari in flames. Can't really rate this fairly because I don't have a chicken, but people did put reviews and pictures of their chickens in the helmet. Just a forewarning, if you're thinking about purchasing this for your chicken or chickens. Kayla Schultz on Timu said that this does not fit her hens, only the little chicken. So it's not one size fits all chicken. This was $1.08. Yeehaw. Here we have a pumpkin shaped fly trap. Oh, it's sticky. <laughs> it's like unwrapping some taffy from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. You ever been there? Saltwater taffy? It's good enough. It's good. Taffy is kind of hit or miss. Look at that. Here in the South, it's fly season. Also, the flying cockroaches have been going a little wild. So this should be able to catch a flying roach. Am I right? I can't rate this properly because I haven't used it yet, but so far I like it. I like that it's a pumpkin. That's kind of magical. This is $1.08, so for the price, I could see a possible 10 in the future. Now this will keep the roaches from flying in your mouth. Mouth tape. You get 50 for $1.48. I wear mouth tape every night. My favorite one is from Amazon and it's $13. That looks exactly like this. And all you do is before you go to bed, it makes you breathe out your nose so you're not breathing in so much bacteria and putting it through the body. Helps you stop snoring, helps you sleep better. You can sleep through the night. Also, it's a fantastic excuse if someone's trying to talk to you. You've got mouth tape on. Don't talk to me with my mouth tape. We'll start doing sign language. After testing them last night, I'd give them an eight. I wish they were a little bit thicker but this is good. And the packaging came a little wonky, but that's okay. This is a hairbrush. Excuse me, I'll be right back. My butterflies hatch today. Please take a minute to enjoy this.
This is a hairbrush cleaner. This is some high quality plastic. It has the little rake and the brush that helps get rid of those. You know when you have lint balls on your brush? Where do those even come from? Oh, that works really good because it does get rid of those lint balls. This will be good to wash your brush with soap and water because we need to be doing that because remember yeast bacteria. We don't want that on our scalp, ladies, gentlemen. This is plastic. It works better when they're like a boar bristle or sometimes even a metal. So for that, I'm going to give it an eight, but still works really good and much cheaper than the ones you can get at the supply store or Sally's. These are hair cutting shears. Sexy, they are stainless steel and they are black and gold. They are six inch, they're a little tight, ladies. I actually cut my hair last night because I was going a little manic. This little side here was too long. Oh wow, those cut really well. Do a little point cutting. That's nice. I mean, they need a little bit of oil, but that's easy to do. Just put some oil here on the belly and run it down. Kind of loosen this up a little bit. These are perfect. If you're just starting out or if you're doing at-home haircuts with me, thank you. Get you a pair of these. I don't know about long-term, but for a couple haircuts, this is good. I'm gonna give them a 10. You cannot find shears for four. You can't even find real scissors for $4. You cannot do it. I really didn't think I was gonna like Timu. It looked like a bunch of junk, but because it's so cheap, it's easier to love. They really do have a good slogan, shop like a billionaire. I like that, because I'm, I'm feeling sassy when I get on there. I can get anything I want. It's like going to the Dollar Tree, or used to. My Dollar Tree has $20 items. Stop that. I can't stand that. Oh, this was the best. I was at the Dollar Tree getting, I don't even remember. There was a fight in Dollar Tree. And y'all, I'm nosy. Anytime someone's getting pulled over, I will break my neck to see what you got pulled over for. I was way in the back of the store and I heard people yelling. So I grabbed my cart and I, all of a sudden I'm a marathon runner and I go up to the front, like I'm gonna do something. I'm not gonna say anything, okay? I'm just gonna cry about it and leave. There was a woman fighting with a Dollar Tree worker and the Dollar Tree worker was yelling back. We cannot be rude to these customer service people and expect them to just say nothing. The shopper was mad because she had a cart full of junk, probably 100 items she didn't even need, and she wanted to check out in this line that still had the light on. But the woman said, oh, I have to go on break. I have to take my mandatory break. It's time for a cigarette. And she said, you're gonna have to go to aisle two. And this woman was mad. You should have turned your damn light off. And she was going off. I don't even know what she was saying because once people get mad, you know, they start speaking in tongues and stuff and just like flipping, doing this, flipping stuff. And the Dollar Tree worker, she wasn't having any more. So she started speaking in tongues back and it was awesome. They never got into a physical altercation, but they were yelling. They were definitely going toe to toe on who can be louder. Uh, that made my shopping experience fun. And as she was leaving, she said, F all y'all and F this Dollar Tree. I ain't ever coming back here. Like they care if you come back or not. Okay, do you think they're getting paid enough to care about that? So when I was leaving, I saw the lady smoking a cigarette. Girl, you go on and have two now. You have two of them Virginia Slims. You deserve it. Anyway, that was just kind of a normal day where I live. Uh, let's carry on. This is a brooch or enamel pin. This was a dollar and it says, only cried a little. It's got a nice backing and bonus alert. It came with a rubber backing, in case you don't want metal on your skin. I like this because I'm a crier. I will cry about anything and everything and nothing at the same time. Test me. In fairness, it's mainly when I'm watching birds. I love to just sit on my deck, cry, looking at birds. So that's why I got this. This is a hummingbird house, hand to hummingbird house ratio. It's pretty small, but have you ever seen a hummingbird nest? Their eggs are the size of Tic Tacs. This was $4. I'm gonna hang in the tree, watch some hummingbirds and catch up on some crying. Cheers. This is a set of teeth made out of resin. They were $1.34 and they look like real teeth. Look at that, it's cool. And it's got a flat back on it. I got these for an art project I'm working on. It's abstract, but what these are really for, if you have a chipped tooth or an accident and you can't get to the dentist right away, it's a temporary fix. So you put boiling water, I think it said on this, and it sticks to your tooth. So you can kind of slide a tooth. One of the comments said not to wear them all the time, but they are good for temporary fixes and for Halloween, cosplay, costume wear, whatever that's called, where you dress up like someone else. That, have you ever seen a watermelon duck wearing cowboy boots? Now you have gorgeous little creatures. Whoa, is that a, oh, they should have put a googly eye on that. What do you think? These were a dollar. This is a meatball keychain in a beautiful dish with a spoon. It was $1.87 and they had lots of different options. Oops, the spoon came off. Here, have a meatball. I love balls. I can glue this back on myself. I'd give this a five. This is cool. It's gonna go great with my collection of miniature things. I like to collect miniatures and just stare at them. This is apparently a garden sculpture. It's a tiny hairless cat. 
meditating. High quality alert, this is real ceramic. It's breakable. This came in a lot of different colors. I got the pink one and it was only $2.79, but Timu should really work on their garden sculptures. I don't think that's a correct word for this because all the garden art or yard art that I've ordered from them is like this big. Yard art is supposed to be big. Not that I was expecting something giant to sail across the seas to get to me for $2. But when I think of yard art, I think of something like this. This is my praying mantis sculpture made out of trash. Nonetheless, it's really cool. I'd give it a six. It does lack a little bit. It's just kind of weird. You can see the seams and stuff and the detail and like, why does it have 10 nipples? I don't know. Paper soap. This was $1.79 for 50 little sheets. Whoa, smells like men's cologne, not lavender. That's okay. They look like this in this clear little container that you can put in your purse or your pocket or whatever. They're for on the go. You wet your hands and it turns into, it, oh, it does work. It turns into soap. So if you're ever somewhere where soap isn't an option, now you can have this. A lot of the reviews said people used it for camping. They would wash their hands with this in a water bottle. That's great, because I am a germaphobe. It's getting better though. I think it's like a mental thing. I'm not really sure. I went to therapy about it and she told me that I was crazy. Is it a childhood trauma? I'm not really sure, but it is getting better. That makes your hands dry though. That makes them like squeaky dry. This will help when I'm at a store that doesn't have soap because that happens more often than not. I'd give this a nine. This is a pizza cutter, but not just any pizza cutter. It's a weapon. Watch out. It's an ax. I don't have any pizza to try this out on, but this is a high quality handle right here. It's real wood. It's a little wobbly squabbly. I'd give this a 10 for cleverness. Cleverness. I love wacky kitchen gadgets. Anything that makes cooking fun or you see it and you kind of smile like, ah, I think I just like junk. This is a bookmark, but it's also a reading lamp. Not like a real lamp. You stick this in your book and the little lamp sticks out. How cool is that? I'm dyslexic, so I have to put a piece of paper on what I'm reading. Also have like really bad ADHD, obviously. So those combined make reading hard, but I do love to read. Anyway, I have to put a piece of paper right here so my mind can focus and I can really read the word. You can use this little light horizontally to read line by line. This is so cool. I'm gonna get some of these for gifts. Also, it came in different colors, different shades, different colors, red or black. Uh, how much was it? It was $1.30. These are whatever this says, hieroglyphics. Oh yeah, these are individually wrapped, which is not good for the planet, but close your eyes. This is a towel somehow. Oh, I guess you have to wet it. This is a magic towel. Some of y'all got onto me in a previous video a while ago when I was talking about how I don't wipe my face with the towel. I use paper towels to avoid getting acne because I used to have a bad acne problem, not right now. And then you guys said, don't use paper towels because it has a lot of bleach. Bleach and chemicals. Well, that's a big towel. That's a big towel right there. So I've been using face towels off Amazon, but they're $15 for these organic, GMO-free, natural, non-dyed, cotton disposable towels. It has to have no chemicals or whatever. And if I remember correctly, these were okay. And you can put them in your purse. I'm gonna give these a 10. They were only a dollar for 50. Are we getting 50? No, we're getting 20. We're getting 20 of these hoes. Temperature changing lipstick. This was $2.27. <gasps> that is pretty. Pretty, look at that. Apparently this changes colors according to the temperature and it's supposed to have a matte finish and glitter. The packaging is really good. I'm not really good at lipstick and applying it. Every time I apply it, it just looks like I had a wild Saturday night and it just looks like a mess. Looks like a drunken mess. I don't like this for me. It is a, what am I looking for? What's the word? It's not matte, whatever that is, it's glossy. It's shiny, right? Yeah, it's shiny. It looks nothing like the picture. So for that, I'm gonna give this a two. This is an IV bag for your plants. It's one of those self-watering things that drips water slowly over time. It says H2O on it and looks just like an IV bag. Cool, that'd be a great gift for someone in the medical field. I love this. It doesn't look like the functionality is gonna be great, but just for looks, this is funny. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. This was 277. A pet selfie stick. This was a little pricey, the second most expensive thing at 307. This goes on your phone like this. And then right here, you clip a dog or cat treat on it. Oh, and it bends, got a flexible arm. And then you will take a picture of your dog, or I guess you could use it for your children, like put a Cheeto or something right here. And the dog will look here thinking it's getting a treat, but really you're just snapping the photo. This is so stupid, but I love it. I love stupid stuff. This is just great. I think this is cool, 10 out of 10. Last, but certainly not least, certainly not least, we have mugwort belly patches for the belly button. You get 30 of these for $2.99. Oh man, 
The ones that I saw on Amazon that I was gonna get for a review had like an actual bead that you place inside the belly button. This is a sticker. Whatever mugwort is, I don't really know. If you're like a herbologist or whatever, let us know what that is. But I thought it was to help your digestive system. But when I was reading the comments, I think it's for hunger or to combat hunger. So you're not hungry anymore. How does that even work? It's like a black sticker. I don't know, some kind of hoodoo. But anyway, you put it on your belly button. Another short-term review, the sticker seems to work fine, but I don't really know. It did get good comments on Timu, but I think the one from Amazon with the actual mugwort to the bead or whatever would just be fun just to pop it in your belly button, you know what I mean? So I don't know about this. It's um, it's fine. It's fine until it's not, until you're throwing up or having diarrhea, right? <laughs> that wraps it up for our Timu haul. Comment below your favorite thing. I think for me, my favorite thing, it's a hard choice. I mean, I'm really liking these hair net things for the brush. I think that's cool. And the shears, that was cool too for the price. No, I like the bookmark, the bookmark, hello, I forgot. We still have a ton of Timu stuff to get through. I have a bunch of stuff because they gave me $100 off. I spin the wheel or spun the wheel when I got on for the first time and it said $100 off and it was actually true. So I don't really know how that happens. Um, if you want any of this stuff or you're interested, the links are below. I do have a coupon code, but none of this stuff is sponsored. It's just something they gave me when I signed up for the links. You can use that. I think you get like $5 off or 30% off treat yourself to something good. We'll have to do like a Timu haul giveaway or something. This is something I can afford to do. But as always, I appreciate you joining me here in this bathroom and I hope you have an amazing week. Happy Father's Day if you're a father or if you're a single mother because you are doing two things that's very important. So happy Father's Day to my mom. I love you. I hope you're enjoying today and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week because you deserve it. Do something for yourself. Get on Timu. It's free shipping. Spend $5 on yourself. It really does it really does make you feel happy and good and a little bit wasteful because look at this. Oh, and real quick, if you've donated any money to the channel through a super chat or through PayPal, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm going to put all that money aside for our next round of donations for, we're going to do toys. We're going to do toys for less fortunate kids or kids from single parent households. I appreciate you being here so much and I will see you next time for something cool. Something.